Hey, what's going on guys? Andrew here and today we're going to be talking about some recent news that's come out with NEO. We just had stimulus checks hit the market and hit everybody's bank accounts. So we're going to talk about what the effect that will have on NEO stock. And of course, we're going to be talking about the important news that came out in terms of mass market development with NEO. And they're going to be directly competing with Tesla in the near future. So that's going to be really important to talk about if you're an investor, you want to listen to that. So make sure you stay towards the end of the video. Now we expect something similar to last stimulus where people are going to be throwing their money into the market, especially since the whole AMC GameStop scenario happened. People want to get their hands in the market and they want to be able to make a lot of money. So they're going to use this $1,400 check to do so. Now, there was a recent interview on CNBC with a TD Ameritrade uh, chief market strategist, and he was talking about what people on their brokerage platform were buying. People want to be involved with Tesla. With that, Will, what we've also seen a bit last month and particularly over the last few days is the buying of NEO along with that. So NEO gets a lot of halo effect uh, on the upside from Tesla, and our clients have come in to buy that one. So very interesting on those fronts. And as we continue to see this sort of tug of war between what people think is going to work next, I mean, personally, I just believe the VIX uh, is going to stay between 23 and 30 for a while, for a month or so, because people are trying to figure out what is that next trade. You know, when you and I talked a few months ago or right around this last stimulus check, it was a lot about the DocuSigns and the Zooms and the Pelotons of the world. Well, Zoom was actually a net sell from our clients last month. We're not seeing the buying and, you know, things like DocuSign and Peloton like we saw in the past as people are sort of looking, I don't want to say past that, but maybe not for the kind of growth they saw before and looking to what's the next area I can go to to see that kind of growth. Now, it's really interesting that he talks about NEO directly. And of course, we know that everybody wants to invest in the future once they get these $1,400 checks. And we all know that the future is going to be electric vehicles. Now, people might be choosing NEO because they believe that NEO has more room to run, more room to grow. Like we always talk about, it's just in China right now. There are so many more markets that it has to grow. And they don't want to miss out on the next run like Tesla had. So they want to get into the stock quick. And all of this buying power coming from the stimulus is definitely going to help boost the stock price. Now I'm going to start talking about the news and later in the video we're going to be talking about NEO entering the mass market. But first we're going to talk about this screenshot here which NEO actually posted and they're talking about that they are hiring interior designers for Germany. Now when they talked about the integration into international markets, the CEO said that they have to adjust their design in order to cater to these markets because of course every culture is different. NEO is all about the culture and all about really making their customers happy and making them feel at home. So this is an important step before they get into the international markets. Now, NEO actually just signed an agreement with a state-owned infrastructure firm to accelerate battery swap station construction. Now, we talk about this every single video. They're going to continue to make these battery swap station deals because they want to reach William Lee's goal of 500 battery swap stations by the end of the year. They have the Cinepec deal and they have multiple government deals and they're going to continue to do that in order to reach their goal. Now they're going to be building these battery swap stations in the inner city and that's going to help make everything just much more convenient. You know, once they have battery swap stations all around China, people are going to just be able to drive around, easily find a battery swap station, swap their battery and get on their way. Now let me be extremely clear about this. They don't officially have the Cinepec deal, but they have made an agreement that they're going to make a deal. So it's going to happen. We just don't know how many stations they're going to build and we don't know when the deal is going to be made. But the rumor is that they're going to have a second generation battery swap station at a Cinepec gas station on April 15th. Now a small piece of news that kind of got overblown on Reddit that I'm going to talk about a little bit and it's not as important as it seems is that China is restricting Tesla vehicles near military and state zones. Now a lot of countries actually do this because they don't want anybody to spy on them or have any security leaks but I'm thinking this could possibly start a snowball effect to where they start banning Tesla more and more and more. Now Personally, I know China really wants electric vehicles. They want one-fifth of their cars to be electric by 2025. I don't think it's going to happen, but it's definitely something that you should know. 
Now, if Tesla starts getting restricted more and more, which is unlikely, that's actually going to help NEO a lot in China because NEO is going to start taking over the sales that Tesla would have had. But to counter that, it's going to be the same in the United States where they might ban NEO vehicles from certain places and the same effect is going to happen in the United States. But of course, that's just a lot of speculation and it's most likely not going to happen. Now I'm going to finally talk about what you guys have most likely been waiting for this whole video and probably what you clicked on for, which is NEO entering the mass market and becoming a rival to Tesla finally. Now on NEO day, William Lee was always making comparisons to Tesla, but they were never actually rivals and he even said they weren't rivals because of course NEO is a luxury brand and Tesla is more of a mass market brand. Now there's been a few articles posted within the past few months that talked about NEO entering the mass market through a different brand because William Lee talked about how he wants to keep NEO a luxury brand. Now this tweet from Edison Yu who is an analyst at Deutsche Bank said he met with the CFO and they made it clear that they're going to be introducing a new mass market brand within the coming years. Now this is from a secondary source so it hasn't really hit the media yet and I don't think it's going to unless it comes from a direct source from NEO themselves but this is actually really big news. This brand is going to give them a brand that rivals Tesla and they have clear advantages over Tesla especially in China. Now if this mass market brand has the same technologies as NEO where they can swap their batteries, they can upgrade their batteries, it's going to provide a huge advantage over Tesla cars. People in China will be able to just drive their cheap car around and swap their battery and of course they don't have to buy a brand new vehicle whenever a new battery comes out. They'll just be able to upgrade their battery which is going to be a lot cheaper than buying a new vehicle like you have to with a Tesla. Now if you're not a long term investor into NEO like I am, this news isn't going to be that relevant to you because this is in a couple years, this isn't going to see much development right now. But as a long term investor, this gives me a much higher conviction because if they can enter the mass markets and rival Tesla, that's going to be huge for the company. And just some basic technical analysis, these are my support levels and resistance levels and I think that we're forming a bull flag here as you can see it had a very nice run up or bounce from this 32 level and now it seems to be flagging so if we can break this upper trend line that's when the breakout's going to happen and that's when we are going to make our way close to 50. Of course this 46 level is something that we're going to need to break because on the recent rally that was what we got rejected by so that's going to be a very key level. Now I know the past few weeks it's been really hard to be a new investor due to the stock price but if you pay attention to the news if you understand what they're doing at NEO and what their brand is all about you're going to have no doubt that in the future they're going to continue to grow and so is their stock price. But that's going to be it for this video. Let me know your thoughts on the recent news that has come out with NEO and let me know if you want to see me make some Tesla videos because I'm definitely down to do that. And of course, if you want to be updated every single week about NEO news and NEO stock price and where I think it's going to go, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I do technical analysis and I talk about the recent news every single week. But like I said, that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.